Today I'm talking about the Vectra VFT100, which I think is a superior, superior gym in many ways. Out of all the functional trainers, it has such variety, and I'm going to convince you why I think it is the number one home gym. So in doing any exercise, there are three things you're going to be aware of. One, your hand rotations. Most exercise is going to be in some degree of rotation. Whether you have a close grip exercise in a neutral position or you're pressing in this direction, your hand's going to be rotated in some way as you're pulling or pushing. So hand rotation is number one. The second is hand width. Whether you're doing a movement from here, pushing at this width, a real wide grip where you're pulling down or pushing, or a close grip where you're pulling, in some way you're going to have a different degree of width as well as rotation. The last one is angle to the body. Most exercise is gonna be done at some angle. Whether you're pushing in this direction, which is 90 degrees, or pulling, or pulling down, or pushing up, you're gonna have some degree of angle that you're gonna be doing to the body. So again, rotation, width, and angle. Now let's talk about the Vectra VFT100. What makes it so superior? Let's start up top. You, first of all, you have two pullers. You have a double pulley here, which means you've got a variety of the things you can do as far as individual use of the machine. Most machines have a single pulley, which means you're kind of fixed as far as what you do. You can't use the arms individually or exercise each body part individually. So if you're doing a movement here, you notice that you can do a press down from here together, or I can do them individually. Or you can do a movement where you're coming out completely. And you notice that when I moved out, there's a pivot. They move with me to make that exercise much easier to do. The second thing you've got is you've got 23 positions you have with this. These are pulleys on both sides. So when you adjust the pulleys, they adjust both together. And you can adjust from six inches off the floor up to six feet high. These will also vary according to the direction in which you're pulling. And lastly, you have a low pulley, which is a great one for doing low exercises, and these are already set. A lot of functional trainers have the two on the side. You basically have to adjust those up and down for every movement. But these have some preset positions where you can go from one exercise to the other with minimal difficulty. Now let's talk about some specific exercises that I'm gonna show you how to use this with. So I'm gonna begin with some bicep exercises. Now I'm facing you because it's easy for me to talk to you and face this direction, but you can face this way and do the exercises, or you can turn and face the machine and do them. So I'm gonna show 10 quick exercises that you can do with various rotations of the wrists, various widths, and various angles to the body, as we talked about. Double bicep curl. Alternate, a single bicep. Cross. And every time you change position, you're changing a different aspect of the muscle that you're training. A different position, a different direction. I'm going to do the reverse curls. Concentration curl. I'm going to lower this a little bit. I'm gonna step forward. Now you notice the angle of the arms change. Now my elbows are behind the body. Again, changing that position. Now I'm gonna bring them in, sort of like a decline, or what's called a drag curl. Pulling this in, different feel, total different effect on how you're doing this exercise. I think that's about four or five. Changing positions, bending over, and I'm gonna do a bending curl from the inside. Now I'm gonna add the bench to the exercise. Decline curls. Notice the change in angle to the body.
So with all of these movements, there was various positions, various angles to the body. I went from behind, neutral, in front, forward, out, and up high. So that was at least 10 different bicep exercises that I did with this machine. And that was just a start. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but this just shows you some of the variety that you can do. I didn't even use the lower pulley here with some of the exercises that you could do from there. But that's just 10 or more bicep exercises that you could do. Let's go to another body part. Let's go to the back. I'm gonna start with close grip pull downs to the front. And there are some hold down supports right here on the machine that can kind of stabilize you. So I'm gonna start by pulling in close. This is just close grip. Again, changing positions, rotating. This is an underhand grip, a reverse grip. Bring it out a little bit wider. Widening that grip. And then ultimately, you can bring this out really wide. And without changing a beat, go to a wide grip pull down. Drop your bench. Go into a seated row. So there's just 10 back exercises right there. Very simple, different angles to the body, different wrist rotations, different widths, all from a different variety using the bench or without the bench. And these are just some. You can just be very creative and add your own exercises as you can think about different ways that you can do them. Look at any exercise in the gym. No matter how it's done on any machine, you can duplicate that on this machine and even better because you can also do them individually because they're separate pulleys. Let's do one more body part, which I'll do the chest. We love doing the chest, and I'll show you that one, and then we'll be done with the demonstration. All right, let's do some chest work. So we're gonna start off high with sort of a cable crossover movement, and then I'm gonna come down. This is gonna come more down, so it's sort of the lower chest, in this position, straight across. Really good pull, good contraction. Now I'm gonna lower my handle and change the angle of the movement. At this position, because of the angle, now I'm coming more in front. More of the medial part of the chest, or the middle. And I can, without changing the machine, I can go upward for the upper chest. You can change the angle to a low position. and you can work the chest from these positions. This is really difficult. Something you can't do on most machines is work the chest from this angle. Sort of a, a decline fly in a position, in a sense, but it really puts the chest in a lot of contraction. So those are three just with the angles. Let's use the bench. So from here, I'm starting from a neutral position and the weight is rested on the machine and I'm just gonna push straight up. Sort of like a bench press. Just straight up. Now I'm going to add a level of difficulty by lowering this a little bit. Now to start the movement, I have to bring it in. Now there's tension on my chest immediately. So from this position, I'm pushing in toward each other. Here. So rather than straight up, I've changed the angle. I've changed direction. This is the bench press, straight up. This is kind of a press fly, pressing straight in. It's a little different. Thirdly, bring it all the way in and pushing straight up. More of the inner. Different dynamic, different tension on the muscle. And then lastly, the fly. So 
So those are three different exercises just from the flat bench. And again, I can do the incline just as easily. From here, pushing up, pressing movements, incline or fly. Such a variety. That's just some of the things you're gonna do with this exercise. This video is going too long already. I love this gym. I think it's the best functional trainer out there. There's a variety of exercises you can do with the legs, the shoulders, you name it. The glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the calves. It can all be done on here. So check it out, VFT 100 by Vectra. I love it, and you will too. See you next time, bye.